Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any uh, audio on this? Yes? Maybe? Good. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Um, this is Marilyn, and it is Welcome to My World, the noon edition on the 14th of January, and this is a Thursday. So, um, my goodness, we've had lots of activity in these markets this morning, haven't we? Down and up, and a little bit down and up. This volatility is what uh, you'll hear a lot of the talking heads that are just ever so brilliant. Um, they use it to gin up an audience and a bunch of fear and a bunch of whatever, whatever. But for the kind of trading we do, this is really, really nice because the signals are there and people in this room are starting to catch on to these um, to these um, iZone sharpshooter trades. So it seems that everybody's having a really good um, experience with these. And that I'm so glad because Daryl has tried to make a trading system as simple as possible and as easy to learn as possible so that if that's all you ever wanted to do, fine. That's great. But if you do want to become a full-time trader and really learn a lot more, at least you have the ability to uh, make some money while you're doing it. So I can't think of anything any, that's any more fair than that. If you are letting other people know about Apex, there is a seven-day free trial, I think, um, because people should be able to assess in seven days if this is something they want to pursue. And I know somebody made a, a comment in here that if you just make one good trade a month, you've paid for your membership. So um, it's I think it's very, very reasonable. And keep in mind, if you could see what all they are working on in the, so I call it the workshop, there are new and even other more things that are just going to blow our minds once we get them out and they're tested and we all can learn how to use them. But right now, if we can all just keep the focus on learning these iZone trades people have made some excellent trades today and posted their charts if you're new and this is all new to you by all means get on the um, apex website and just do a search put jing j-i-n-g in there it's free uh, you have to download it's a little software that you can use to make screenshots of your charts mark them up and post them in the um, in the room, and yes, Ashif, <laughs> Ashif is very enthusiastic about <laughs> about Apex and and trying to talk to a lot of people about it. It's probably the best kept secret in all of trading, and I think I mentioned this not too long ago. One of the great uh, gurus of trading was pointing out that the the small retail trader now in the current environment is not only on a level playing field with the big boys they have an extreme advantage because all the little folk like us with our little one and two contracts that we trade we are the ones with the technology and the technology we are we, we know how to use and we're learning how to use and it is becoming more and more and more improved whereas these big behemoth uh, traders the big institutional traders are clueless about technology and they literally are in the horse and buggy days with their trading so we have an enormous advantage and the advantage that apex brings is the incredible accuracy of this um, daryl's really really big about 
everything being accurate and in the in the past it's been a little more difficult to learn some of these systems but this iZone sharpshooter I don't see how it could get any more simple than that so if you're struggling with it by all means uh, put your questions in here post your charts what did I do wrong what did I do right should I've taken this if you don't get an answer put it in again it's just that people get busy and they they step away for a few minutes and come back and don't scroll far enough to uh, catch your comments. So anyway, we have the VIX uh, trading right now just a little over 24. It's 24.17. And these markets are, uh, after they went down, running up, they're either going to turn their attitude around here or they've, they're taking out... Uh, short seller stops but time will tell the dollar probably I don't know if anybody in here right now is trading the dollar but that should have been really really nice today it made big upward move and it tends to trade inverse to gold so gold had some nice trends down uh, bonds are a little bit like these stocks. It's not ready to make up its mind yet. The One of the big things that I see here is these the currencies, both the euro, of course it trades inverse to the U.S. dollar, but the other thing that had a lot of movement today was Japanese yen. Brent hit its... Um, it's low of 12 years at 29.94 in the Asian session, and it has not, it's tested that a couple times, but it has not breached that. So if Brent can hold above 29.94, then um, maybe crude oil is going to hold right around 30, 31 for a while. Um, I think that's all I've noticed about that. This afternoon at 3.30, I don't know if it's Daryl or John, but one of them is going to do a webinar on making the most out of your iZone sharpshooter charts and making those trades. So it that will be recorded. It's uh 3.30 Eastern Time. You can check the website if you don't have the link to it because uh, you have to register so you can get into it. But it will be recorded. I'm not sure when that will be posted. Anytime you want to be notified by email of any of these webinars when they're posted, you can go to YouTube and subscribe to Apex and you'll get an email every time one goes up. Tomorrow morning, well, first this afternoon, bond traders. We at uh, at one one o'clock. It's one o one actually. The thirty year bond auction is this afternoon, so pay attention to that if you like to trade bonds, and it will likely affect the ZN also, which some people prefer. It's not such a big um, it's not such a big bite. The ZB trades in ticks of $31.25, whereas the ZN is $12.25 or $50, I think. It's a little bit less. Anyway, uh, so this afternoon, 101 is the 30-year bond auction. And tomorrow morning at 8.30, be very aware of when 8.30 rolls around because 8.30 we're going to get a lot of economic numbers that will affect the, um, U the U.S. market. And 9.15, a little bit more, 9.30, but tomorrow is a really big news day. So be sure when you're doing your morning prep to decide what it is you want to focus on and what you want to trade, etc., that you get those uh, times 
when those numbers are going to come out real clear. Sometimes if you've got one of those little um, the stickies on your computer, I don't mean the handwritten kind, you, I mean the kind that, I don't know, I've got one of these down in my toolbar. You can go to the website, get the information for those morning trades and copy paste it onto a little sticky so it's right in front of your face and you don't get distracted looking at something else and then all of a sudden think, oh good grief, what happened to my trade? Anyway, tomorrow we have that. Uh, we're likely going to be rolling the crude oil contract um, uh, hopefully after the close tomorrow and certainly over the weekend. If you don't know how to do that, there are instructions on the website and if you trade crude oil, I very much recommend that you bookmark that until you have it real clear in your mind because crude oil contracts roll every month. I think that's about it. If anybody has any questions, this is a really good time to, to ask them in here and post them. We've got people posting charts and asking uh, questions and all this wonderful. Everybody learns. This is why we're so big about asking your questions in here because don't ever feel like you're asking a silly question. It's uh, That's just not the case and we try to answer those in here because everybody learns from everything let's see um, Dustin yes the US bonds is ZB and it is the March contract uh, the bonds the US indices and all of the currency futures all roll four times a year they roll quarterly, so it's not such a high maintenance contract rolling. And you've got the VIX uploaded on the sharpshooter. Okay, David, I'm pretty sure you don't have a continuous uh, contract. What he's asking about, he's got the VIX lo loaded on Ninja. I'm pretty sure you don't have the continuous contract, which is the the last one in that menu on the instrument manager, for one thing. And for another, putting the VIX on a sharpshooter chart is, in my opinion, um, it's, it's a little bit of overkill. I'm not sure how to explain this. All you really need is a daily chart of that because you're not using it to trade with. You're using it for a it's a it's a thermometer. That's what it is. It's a thermometer of of the overall attitude of the markets. So specific and precise information is uh you're you're using up computer capacity. And, and you don't need to be doing that. Um, mine I monitor is, uh, I think I have a one year daily on it. And I just glance at it a couple times a day just to have an idea of, of what, the, what the temperature is out there. So I suggest you put your computer resources to better use, something that's gonna, gonna help you trade. The ten-year note, yes, it, that's right. Thanks, Aaron. It does the the ZN ticks in 1562. I knew it was something screwy, but it is. And the bar setup on the IZSS for CL is these are candles. Um, if you're looking at my chart, I prefer the candles to the um, whatever those other things are, because I don't like that smeared thing. It, it, I, I can't see it as well. And 
have, let me see here. The only way you could get the Nikkei was to restart. Are you talking about the Nikkei or the Ninja Trader? I'm, I think you're talking about the Nikkei contract, right, Dustin? Um, if if you have a problem with that, that sounds like it might be a um, Ninja Trader problem. I would put an email into support in Ninja and ask them because that that is not a commonly used contract and there may be some little thing it it might not update because they might be asking you to pay for the feed on that that they provide with your license or your demo account or whatever it is you're using on the indices so that could be the problem i would i would check with ninja trader on that that about it be sure you if you cannot uh, watch this webinar this afternoon uh, put that on your list of things to do to watch it when after it's posted you can watch the recording and some of these when you watch these recordings I will also tell you they are sometimes a little bit longer than an hour and there is so much information incredibly much good information that you really need to you know absorb sometimes it's better to watch the um, the recordings if you come in 15 minute segments watch it for 15 minutes stop it and then ask yourself, what do I need to jot down for notes? What, what, what are my takeaways from that 15 minutes that I really need to internalize and remember? So you have a little uh, list by the time the end of the webinar is done. And you can refer to that until the stuff is, that information is completely locked into your brains. Yeah, Dustin, I'm pretty sure the the reason that chart will not update is because you have a data. There's a it's something with the data feed. So it's either Ninja or it's uh, your data feed. But I would ask the Ninja guys about that. So I will see you all tomorrow morning. This has been my view from my world in Apex Land, brought to you by Apex Investing. I'll see you in the morning.